When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what should I do? No! Oh. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Kev here. We're going to be watching his Advanced Warfare gameplay. I didn't win the match, but he's the only one that I wasn't going to be using in one of my next videos. Enjoy. Right, so basically, this whole console war thing, but going Xbox or we riot, have just been trending on the uh, United Kingdom or whatever, America. So, I haven't been online in quite a while. I was just wondering what it was on about, and Xbox and we riot is trending. Just because PlayStation 4 or PlayStation have got the exclusive rights to the DLC just five a month later, I don't see the problem with that. Like, Call of Duty has always been towards Microsoft and whatever for God knows how many years, and I still don't see why they do that. I don't see why they don't just put it to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4 at the same time. It's just ludicrous. It's just fucking stupid in my opinion. So, like, people as X. I'm just reading it now. It's like Xbox or we buy it, fuck PS4. Xbox or we riot and then it's just loads of people just going crazy over it. It's just stupid. It's just basically to boost sales of one of the company's, uh, what do you call it, their console pretty much. That's how I'm looking at it because everybody like Ali and everyone are playing on PlayStation 4s now. KSI or whatever, I've seen them playing on PS4s and all them people. They are on play PlayStation 4s because it's a paid promotion. So I wonder why, I wasn't surprised that PlayStation got the exclusive rights to the DLC and everything. It doesn't piss me off like it's pissing everyone else off. It's, you've got to wait another 30 days just for DLC. If you if you care about it that much, just get a PlayStation 4. Don't bitch about it. And if you can't afford a PlayStation, PlayStation 4, you can't change it. You can't like sign over a billion dollar contract or whatever it is. So you can't do nothing about it. So why that? And they've already signed now anyway, so there's no point in saying Xbox or we riot. No one's gonna riot just over a bloody Call of Duty game. It's just stupid, seriously. And if there are people who say that they're gonna riot and they do actually riot, I'll be extremely surprised. But it'll just tar the gaming industry with a bad brush as it already is. Like violent video games give violent thoughts and make pe people violent. All they don't is the psychotic that's inside the people who make them violent. And then it's a video game that may trigger it or may not trigger it. It could be a bully at school that triggers it. It could be anything that triggers it. But just because this person plays video games, that it starts every video game and video game player with a bad brush. Personally, I am an Xbox fan now. I I grew up with uh, Nintendo, then I went to PlayStation, and now I've got an Xbox as of like four years ago. And quite honestly, I much prefer Xbox quite simply just because of the size of the controller. I don't like the PlayStation's controller because it is too small. I've got quite big hands and it hurts my hands after a while playing. Where the Xbox, it doesn't hurt as much, even though my hands are a little bit big, big for the controller still. But all in all, the Xbox is the way to go. People are also complaining the competitive side have gone there and they're saying, uh, I had one person tweet me saying, because I asked why, and they said to me, because it's a competitive thing, if Vondahar goes to both, one of them may get mad and stop funding his game. Who in their right mind would stop funding Call of Duty? I know it's been losing sales over the past few years, but it still makes millions or billions of dollars each year it comes out. And if one of them stops funding the game and it just becomes a PlayStation or Xbox exclusive, then that person who made that decision is absolutely stupid and they shouldn't be in that company. If they did have competitive on both consoles, which I think they should, it would be a lot better because you could have pro PlayStation players go into a pro PlayStation tournament, they could have both consoles at the event. And if you had Xbox players, they wouldn't have to switch between consoles. Like if you're a pro in a pro team playing on a PlayStation 4 and you gotta go to a con uh, an event with an Xbox One, then the control is going to feel a bit different, so you're going to be fucked. And it's the same vice versa with the Xbox. So I, I'm going to end my rant there, I might continue in another video, um, and I hope to see you in the next one.